Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are here in Dungeon Destard. We are at level 3. Let's go to the notes and take a look at the level map. So we're right here where the red dot is. We need to go through the combat room here to get to the up arrow to level 2. I'm not going to worry about because we'd have to go through this combat room three times, and there's more combat rooms down here in the bottom. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. We're on the quest for the stone. And so we are going to go straight through. But let's get back to the game, and let's get rolling here. Okay. Some easy peasy. At least it was some easy people. Interesting. Did my uh, did our shots not go through? I guess I guess the that's interesting. The uh, the fire pit there. I guess I'll call it blocks our shots, which is not something I would have thought. But but you know it is what it is. Let's get these guys done, and then we're going to exit to the west. But these should be pretty easy. We had head, head, no, those are Etten, and we got a Cyclops, and we've got a troll. All right, good. Uh, people on the top, I might start moving out of here. Okay. All right, let's get rolling. We're just gonna go straight across. You know, we are starting to run out of dungeon here a little bit, uh, and we haven't found the stone yet. And so if we don't find the stone on two, or one. Now, I don't know if we're going to, with this route, if we're going to end up in the same portion of the first level as we did when we went up that, I'm calling it the express stairway because, you know, eight through level, uh, levels uh, two through eight, there was like no other way to, to no, no, no other place to go. Well, eight you could, but, but, uh, so I'm just thinking that, uh, we were, I'm hoping that we're going to get to a different place because there was no way to get out of the dungeon there. And obviously there is a, I've checked the map, there is an external entrance to, for this, like most dungeons. So we'll see what happens. So let's climb. All right, we're in a small room with two doors. Fascinating. One to the south and one to the east. Let's appear to gem. Okay, so this is interesting because we've got our ladder here. Uh, we've got two doors, which might be combat rooms. They might just be doors. And then we have four ladders up. I'm curious if they're going to take us to different places or if they're going to take us to the same place. I'm also curious if the center of the square that we're looking at here is that ladder, that express ladder between that portion of level one and level eight. So I'll be interested to see where this is going to take us. But let's, uh, I guess we'll, it doesn't really matter. Let's go to the south since that's closest to the ladders. Oh, this is interesting. All right. I guess I'll have them go forwards. We can't, yeah, we can't, we'll only be able to get these ghosts if they come through the wall for us, which I'm assuming they're gonna do. But we may not worry about trying to kill them necessarily. We might just worry, focus more on getting through this room. We will take out the Zorn. He's critical. Now he's fleeing. Good luck with that. All right. You can't do anything more. Oh, he is fleeing. There we go. All right, so we'll move south and if a ghost inserts itself in our path, like the, uh, 
the one that has already done so, then we will uh, get out of here. I'm just scanning real quick for secret doors here. I don't see any, and I don't think that that would be... We want to go south anywho. So. Beautiful. The ghost is killed. Such a strange sentence. <laughs> Aren't they already undead? Uh, Ultimo confuses me a lot with things being dead or alive. It should be more like we banished him back to the nether regions from whence he came or some such thing. But whatever. I won't put too much thought into it. It was 84. We didn't care about such things back then. We'll get out of here. Leave these ghostesses to their own devices. There we go. So we are in this hallway. Now there are fountains. Um, through that door, there's another combat room, another fountain. I don't really care. So let's let's climb. So we are in a little room that looks like there's nothing here, but let's peer to gem. Okay. Okay, so this is one of these things here. So we're in a little room, but we do have secret doors. And you'll notice that there's four down arrows if we look at like this centralized thing here. I think this is another one of, one of these things like the star where this pattern just continues. So we had four, four um, up arrows on level two, and now we've got four down arrows on level one. And then we've got these up arrows that are, going to take us up to the surface from here. What's bad about this is that we don't have a stone here. And if we look at, let's, let's flip over to the notes real quickly. Here is that room that was, here's that level of, 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 um, that we came from the, the express stairway, if you will. And you can see that if we go back to the game, that plus configuration fits very neatly right here. So this looks to be the entirety of the level, but we haven't, found, we've made it all the way. We've gone through eight through one. We haven't found the stone, so we are not done. Okay, so we need to figure out where the stone is. And let's take a look at our notes. I have been doing a little thought process on this just in case this thing happens so we're going to go back down we're going to retrace our steps um, we're going to go back down to level two here and we're going to go back into this corner and we'll take the stairway down to level three you know two and three and one really are simple because and same with four because there's only one down there's only one down ladder there so you know we just can fully retrace our, our steps it's not a big deal you know four same thing here we'll retrace that and then we get down to level five so we came up this northern ladder okay and we and then we took this is the ladder up but there's this other down ladder and so i'm thinking it's one of these there's these different paths this is going to take us perhaps to a different part of level six and if that doesn't get us to the stone, then we've got a similar kind of thing down here in level six where um, we climbed the center ladder. We came up this eastern ladder, but there's a western ladder that goes down to level seven. And perhaps it takes us to a different part of level seven. So what I want to do is get down to six and seven and explore some of these alternate routes and see... Uh, if that is, if that is, um, where we're going to find the stone, but let's get back to the game and let's start moving our way back down so we can get rid of that. We are going to descend. We are back here in, in level two. We want to go west and we want to kill slimes. Nice of them to spawn right on top of us. Because you know how we love that. 
Okay, you can come over. You two can just be there in the middle. <laughs> Not getting a chance to do anything. But these should be a quick, a quick uh, battle here to get rid of these guys. There we go, another one down. Whoops, my bad. All right, that one's gone. That one's gone. All right, so we're gonna go back to the north here. We'll go through the room with the Zorn and... And the Ghostesses. And we'll, 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 we'll play this exactly the way we did last time. We'll take out the Zorn and then we won't really worry about it. Just like that. So this will be easy peasy. I noticed when I was editing the previous episode that I'd say, hey, we're going to go through and we're not going to really worry about killing all these things unless they get in our faces, but I'd still fight them. <laughs> and I'd still end up killing everything. No matter what. It's just like, I can't help myself. Goodbye, Mr. Ghost. All right, so we made it through. And now we are going to descend to level three. And this is again where we've got to go back through this room that we just did. Um, but this will be, should be quick and easy for us. And we've got the troll on the right side of the cooking fire there. So we can be attacking him immediately. All right, we're already down two, and the troll decided he wanted to go after some easier meat. All right, so let's take care of these guys. This won't take us long. Yep, won't take us long at all. Done and done. Oh, he's fleeing, I think. Oh, you should have fought. Okay, he's gone. This one last Etten here. There we go, beautiful. All right, we need to go back out to the east again. So we will just march like we know what we're doing here. Let's get out of this place and we will take the ladder down to level four. These are the easy ones here because we've just got a single combat room on all of these and there's really not much we have to think about. Descend. So we have descended and we need to go level four so we got to go down this twisty passageway to get to the one combat room looks like we got to take out a couple ghosts just because maybe these are the ones from earlier they're like hey bro <laughs> don't you ignore me so fine we won't ignore you we'll just kill you oops what's well, katrina my bad you can't do anything All right, that one's gone. That one's gone. Heavily wounded. Come on, Dupree, we have faith in you. We still have faith in you, although it's a little shaken. All right, now he's fleeing. Good job, good job. And I'll take him out 
45 gold. We're at 6,300 gold, which is great. Which is great. So we need to go into this room. Uh, we're coming uh, in from the north, heading south, and we need to exit to the west. Oh, yeah, the phantoms that are... It's interesting these are like this again. I'm pretty sure the phantoms are the floating um, sword and shield. I don't want to attack to the north. Moron. So I don't know why these phantoms look like um, various force fields, but they do, and, and they're being consistent, so I guess that's something. But I'm pretty sure we've dealt with these guys before, and they were the, the floating sword and shield thing. All right. If we get to the point where we've got a bit of a bit of a space for breathing room, then we may stop fighting and start moving. But for now, they're all getting all up in our business. So we will uh, continue to take them out. All right. You can attack that one. That one's critical. Nothing you can, you're not lined up on anything. All right. Oops, Joffrey, I should have had you move. Phantom's slightly wounded. Okay, maybe I'll get Joffrey. Oh, yeah, it won't flee. Where did it flee to? All right, that one's gone. Joffrey, you can get out of here, I think. And eh, maybe not. Maybe I should have him. I don't know. I'm tempted to just to just uh, let's start moving people out of here if we can. We don't need to kill all these guys. But it is kind of what we do. You're going to stay up there. Let's take out this one in the corner. All right, that's one down. You can't do anything. You can attack that way. There we go. Jeffrey, you can move. I, I am changing my mind about you yet again. Everybody down. All right. We aren't going to bother going to get that guy. If he comes over in enough time to try to come and get us, then we might do something about him. But oh, you being tricksy. Oh, I should have had you attack. Bloody heck. Now he's fleeing. Get him gone. You can come down. You can come down. See, I, I say we're not going to fight him, and then it's like, hey, let's fight him. He's over there, not really hurting anybody. I think we'll leave him be for the present moment. Oh, he, is, he escaped anyway. All right, interesting. I didn't realize he was fleeing, but he was fleeing. Should have had you go down. Get out of here, Katrina. Oh, you can't go anywhere. All right. So that's level four. Oh, we got some more slimes. Uh, not you. Not you and not you, Katrina. 
Sorry. Oh, that slime's fleeing. And he's gone. All right. That one's done. That one's slightly wounded. There we go. A little magic to the face. I don't know that they have faces. All right, descend level five. So this is one of the places where we want to do something different. Let's go back to the notes. So we just came down this ladder in the south eastern quadrant. We want to go down the, the ladder that's over here to the west. We don't have any combat rooms to go through to get there. So we'll have a pretty quick answer as far as is there something different on that on that level six if we go through that and will we have the stone let's descend we definitely have something different if i pop over to the notes for level six here we were like a plus shape kind of thing and we definitely don't seem to be that here so let's peer at a gem. Oh, 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 traps and orbs. Okay, you'll notice that we've got a bunch of traps. We've got orbs. Um, I don't know if I care about the orbs, and we seem to only have the one ladder. Uh, there doesn't seem to be other ways in or out of here. What I'm thinking about is, is there somebody that where we really want to up their stats. I don't know how important this is going to be. I'm maxed out at 50. 50 is the max. I looked that up. Um, Joffrey's pretty good. Who is the lowest? Katrina is all in the 20s. Dupree is pretty good, but he got the last couple. Um, Iolo is pretty good. Not as good as Dupree, but he's all right. Julia's pretty good. And Shamino's pretty good. Jana is kind of on the low side. So Jana and Katrina. Maybe that will do that, and that'll give them some more strength. And that way we are giving them... Uh, more magic points, and I think also mono hit points are by level, so that doesn't matter. But it might help them with their with their um, you know critical chances and whatnot. Um, okay, so I think we'll go ahead and go for this. Now the orbs were in the lower in the south east corner and the north west corner. And right now we are in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the south and it's winds. I don't want to do a lot of light spells. <laughs> I don't want to waste a lot of light spells. So I'm just going to kind of do this in the dark. I, I've got the map up here to the side. So I'm going to turn to the east. One, two. So I should be in the corner right now if I search magic ball who touches it so what did i say i said katrina and Jana. so we'll have katrina touch it right it's still dark so she got plus five strength interesting she just got one previously we've gotten two things so we're turning left so now we're facing north we can see that at the bottom there so i'm gonna go one two three four all right, and then I'm, I'm in the corner. I will turn to the west. One, two, three. Oh, we've got something to kill so we can suddenly see. <laughs> That's interesting. All right. One little gremlin. 
This should be easy if we could actually hit the darn thing. Oh my God, really, what in the hell? Okay. Is he fleeing? I didn't think we got enough of a hit on him for him to start fleeing. I mean, have we gotten a hit on him? <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're going along the north. Okay, so now if I search, magical ball, this is gonna be Jana, right. So she got also just strength plus five. All right, so now we are going to turn to the south. One, two, I'm gonna turn back to the east. One, and now gonna cast the light spell and we're gonna climb back up. And so here we are back in level five, right where we left off. Uh, so that didn't do anything for us. That didn't uh, get us the, the stone and um, it doesn't give us a way down to a different part of level seven. So we are gonna have to, let's bring the, let's bring the map up again. So we're here on level five. So we're at this, we took this, we took this ladder down. Um, so now we need to go down to level six. So we're going to take the Northern ladder down and then that way we'll get back into this place. And then we can take that ladder down to level seven. All right. I had to, I had to orient myself a little bit. I was getting myself corn infused. And that's not good. All right. Let's go. So here is the northern ladder down. We're going to descend. And we are right where we thought we would be. Um, the eastern ladder is the one we took down before to level seven, which didn't give us anything, didn't give us a stone. So we are going to go take the Western ladder and we're going to descend. And this looks different. This looks different because level seven that we saw looked like this. We came in here and we went through this and then we took that ladder up. And now we've got a very long hallway, um, which is different. So let's peer at a gem. And we have got a stone. Okay, so here we are. We have got the map here. The stone is right there. So we're going to have to go down. We're going to have to do at least two combat rooms. I think these rooms in the middle are probably just a, a, a hallway room. I don't think they're combat rooms, so we're going to go, I guess we'll go down, and then it doesn't matter whether we go east or west. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And then we'll get the get the gem, and we'll work on getting out of here. So let's, um, so there's a door behind me to the south, and we're going to go through it. Oh, it's just a door door. Wasn't expecting that, so we'll go east, why not? It's also a door door. Okay, but we gotta fight these insects. Not a problem. Even though um, we don't lose um, you know, avatar hood, slices of avatar hood, um, if we don't fight the people in the combat rooms. That does not hold true for these random encounters in the hallway. All right, search. The red stone, we've got the last stone. We've got them all now. We're ready to go to the abyss. Well, that's technically not true. Uh, we got all the stones which is awesome sauce, but we don't, um, 
we don't have the third key yet. We got to get down to level eight because level eight is where we came into the dungeon of courage. And then we can get the last. And we know that this is the third part of the key. So I'm going to do something different that we have never done before. Just to s simplify things, I'm going to cast a spell and I'm going to cast a down spell, which I believe is a Z. And that's just going to lower us a level. I could, we could get back and we could get to the, you know, go through combat rooms and get down, get down there without too much fuss, but uh, let's do this. We've never done it before. All right. So here we are. Where are we? Um, let's see. So level eight. Because it's been a little bit since we went to level eight. Let's just remind ourselves of what level eight looked like. So this is what level eight looked like. I'm not certain where we are on that. We're not where the red dot is. That was from last time. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just waste a gem. And let's peer at another gem. Oh, right there. Beautiful. So we just need to head south. And we're at, at the altar room. Interesting, mages. All right. Have some magic in your face. Ooh, that was easy. That was easy. Okay. You fight, you can't fight anybody. I don't know what the deal is with all the Missy Missy. I'm gonna get down here and get a part of a key, I think. That means just fleeing. That mage is done fleeing. <laughs> He's still fleeing, interesting. All right, boom. I am on the altar, that one's gone. All right, we're just gonna, I'm not gonna bother moving anybody yet because I don't necessarily know where I want to go. I want to use stones so if i go back to my list the stones that i want are red white orange purple thou dost find one third of the three-part key all right so let's look at the stats and let's see what T <laughs> TLC. <laughs> oh, the eighties. I love you. <laughs> I've been worrying about the order and will it be, and I was actually doing some, doing some thinking about, I, we had the T and the L and I'm like, what? And we knew that this this part was the third one. And I was like doing searches for three letter words with T's and L's in them. And what could that be? And I never, this never crossed my mind. Good old TLC, tender, loving care, which fits. <laughs> and, and now that I notice this, that, yeah, they're in order. They're in order. There's our order. We know the order. Woohoo. We know the order. Oh, beautiful. So. <laughs> Oh, that just tickled me to no end. All right, let's get done here. We got one guy to kill. Let's get about that killing. Be nice if we could actually kill him. All right, beautiful. Let's go to the notes real quick. We are going to get out of here. I don't think I could do an exit spell from within this. 
Uh, and I'm not quite sure where it will take me. So you can see I've, I've marked that we have all of, all of that on our quest log. I've marked that we got the keys to the codex. We've got that. Um, we got the word of the passage. We don't necessarily know the order, but I think we're good. I think we're going to move on without that. Um, if we go to navigation and look at our map. So actually, before we do that. So courage, we've got death star, high Fluff, covetous shame. Um, so if we go, go to the map now. So the start is here. What else did I say? Covetous shame. Covetous will bring us out up here by Minoc. I'm not certain if that's, that might be only accessible by water. We could do a gate spell or something then to get us to some place we want to go. Um, perhaps. But, uh, and then what did I say? Shame was the last one. And where is shame? I don't think I actually got around to putting shame on the map yet because we hadn't found shame before we got into this. G and D was shame. So G and D. Yeah, they were like up here in the mountains. And I think I had to do a, a blink or something or a gate spell to get us out of there. Um, I'm not certain what it is I want to do. Maybe we'll just go back into the start. It's easy. It's to the north. And then we can do a gate spell from there to Lord British, maybe. And uh, so let's go back to the game. Uh, do I have... I do have another gate spell, don't I? Oh, we can't do that here. All right, I'll, I'll look at my spells. Well, I can look at stats. This will show me my spells, won't it? Mixtures, gate spells. We have five gate spells. Perfect. All right, so let's get out of here. And we'll go right back into the start. And then I will cast an exit spell. Actually, we may go ahead while we're kind of in a, in a safe space. It seems kind of strange to say that about a dungeon. Um, we may go ahead and sleep because we still have people that are low be after the orbs from earlier. So we will just uh, do a quick snoozy snooze. I don't want to search. I want to hold up and camp. And you know what this means? This means that uh, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready to take on everything. So let's... Um, let us, I'm going to cast an exit spell. And so here we are in outside of the starred. And now we're going to do a gate spell. And we want to go to Lord British. And I think we have to do this. Lord British is the second phase. So that's, I'm just going to do a two. Right. I remember that correctly. Beautiful. And we'll go over here and we'll do, we'll visit Lord British. I don't want to talk to the castle. Let's enter the castle. That's what you do at castles. You don't talk to them. Yeah, you 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 enter castles. I mean, everybody knows that. All right. So we'll go talk to we'll see if anybody managed to level up on our great last leg of our Spelunk. We've talked to him before. Nobody leveled up. No. We get everybody up to full health. Boom, boom. Beautiful. Um, any last words about the Abyss? The Great Stygian Abyss is the darkest pocket of evil remaining in Britannia. It is said that it's in the deepest recesses of the Abyss is the chamber of the codex yes it is also said that only one of the highest virtue may enter this chamber one such as the avatar codex chamber okay so there we are 
there we are. We have, we are ready to go. We're doing pretty good on food. I don't know that we necessarily need to top any food off. Uh, part of me is tempted. We may, we may, no, let's go, let's go back to the map real quick. We may go down here to Buccaneer's Den because, because, um, Pirate's Cove here is, I believe, the entrance to the um, to the abyss. We have to get through that. We have to get through all those pirate ships. That's why we need the wheel uh, in order to do that. So Buccaneer's Den's kind of on the way from here. And so we may do that and see about getting, maybe need to get some more gems. And then also I might try to get some flaming oils. I don't know if, if those are going to work in the abyss because you you're not supposed to be able to use non-magical weapons. Um, let's just kind of take a look at our stats and see where everybody's at. Um, I didn't look at what, what, what Katrina did. So Katrina's strength came up to 33, and Jana's strength came up to 31. So that's good. Um, so we still have 42 gems. We're doing okay on gems, really. I wouldn't expect that we are going to need that many gems to get us through the through the abyss. Um, but who really knows? Um, okay, we got the bell book candle. We got the horn. We got the wheel. Spell-wise, we're doing okay. Um, what I might do is, off camera, I might go stock up again on some of these things that we need. Garlic. Black Pearl, um, and Sulphur's Ash. Uh, might go ahead and get those stocked up just to, just to have them. And then from a spell perspective, we're doing pretty good. Um, we haven't had to use the spell in a little bit, so we get 15 of those. We still have 64 Fireball spells. I haven't been using them. I haven't needed to. Might need to do that a bit more in the Abyss. Um, probably ought to replace my, my Gate spell, perhaps. Perhaps not. Uh, heals were 32. I think we're okay on that. Uh, we still have 15 jinx. We got 10 negates. Um, so we're doing, we're doing all right. Some quick, uh, we still have 18 quickness spells, which would give us like two turns for every time. And we still have 14 tremor spells. So I think we're doing pretty good. Only have one exit spell left. Might make a couple more of those just in case. But yeah, I think we're still in pretty good shape. In pretty good shape. We're ready to, to go to the abyss now that we've got everything that we need. Whoops, I didn't. I need to go back up to the ladder and go down. So yeah, I guess I'm going to let that be that. I will be back soon with a trip to the abyss, the chamber of the codex, and the end game of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. I'm excited to finish it, finally. Uh, I don't know how involved the Abyss is going to be, but um, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to doing that. So thanks for joining me on this for this episode, and uh, please come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.